This episode brought to you by Marvel's Avengers. Assemble up to four players online and embrace your powers. <laughs> I'm telling you, this script is ahead of its time. All right, tell me about it. It's called Playing With Fire. It's about a strong, muscle-bound guy who's never looked after kids. Yeah. Looking after kids. Oh my god, that's amazing. Right? So he dresses up in silly costumes, uh -huh. acts feminine around the girls. Amazing. And I even have references to upcoming movies like Pretty Woman and Backdraft. That sounds phenomenal. I was thinking of getting Mr. T to star as the lead. Oh, a celebrity playing against type? I love it. Wonderful. So, what's your asking price? Well... Why don't I get back to you on that in a bit? Absolutely. I'm in no hurry. So, what do you got for me? The same thing I had years ago before you stole it for kindergarten, cop. Oh, well, another writer came along with a similar idea just before you. And you didn't bring it up. I wanted to spare your feelings. But hey, that doesn't mean we can't just do it again. I mean, the script is only a few years old. That's true. Some of it might seem a little dated, but it'll still seem fresh enough. How much did you want to offer? get back to you on that. Couldn't help but notice that you made another movie exactly the same as my idea. Isn't it crazy? It's like every writer had the same idea when you did. Or a greedy producer stealing my goddamn work. Let's talk buying your script. It's several years old. The formula's been done twice. Even the references won't make any sense. Yeah, but I feel bad. I should buy the scripts that inspired these two hits. You mean the script that other writers happen to think up at the same yes, time? Yes, yes, yes. Whatever I said. Let's talk about player with tires. Well, I guess I can bring the price down to... Let me get back to you on that. Hey, how's my favorite writer? I'll let you know when I see him. Say, none of the other writers seem to talk to me anymore. Something about me stealing their work. <laughs> Weird, right? So I was wondering if you had a script for a Nickelodeon movie with John Cena. It has to be really hip, totally original, and have a lot of modern references. I have just the screen. Parents, are you looking to entertain your kids? Are you looking to punish your kids? Well, you have a 50-50 shot at one of those with the new film, Playing With Fire. Starring John Cena, Keenan Michael Key, John Leguizamo, Judy Greer, and several other actors who couldn't get out of their contracts. Hello? Tamara, make a movie for me. Okay. I'm tired of not being physically fit, so I want to be in a movie where I have to look after some kids even though I don't want to. Wait, how is that going to make you physically fit? Think about it. Every muscle-bound celebrity has a movie where they have to look after some kids even though they don't want to. So if I have a movie where I have to look after some kids even though I don't want to, I'll be a muscle-bound celebrity! Wow, can't fault that logic. It is rather genius. The requirements are I must be a stick in the mud at the beginning, my heart is melted by the end, one or more of the kids must be a girl so I can wear a tutu, and there must be bubbles. Fucking bubbles! What was that? Well, it'll take me a few weeks to write something good. Who said anything about good? It just needs to exist to make money! I thought you were doing it to get fit. We're in entertainment. Everything is done for money, even our hobbies. That's true. Get me the script by the end of the day! Don't you feel weird doing two sketches about playing with fire script writing? It was so bad I had to do them both. Fair enough. Get cracking! I think that's a fair lead-in. with Fire is not really a nostalgic movie. Hell, it's not even a year old by the time I released this. But its formula is. The idea of someone comedically unqualified raising a child or children has gone back for ages, but the specific equation of a tough guy taking care of kids, I suppose, dates back to Kindergarten Cop. At least, that's the biggest hit I can think of with a major action star. And like many ideas in Hollywood, it started off fine enough, but was grinded into the ground with repetition. 
Suddenly, you didn't make it as an action star unless you showed you're so confident in your masculinity that you can do girly stuff. Oh, how brave. Playing with fire is especially interesting, though. Not only because the script is so outdated in story characters and references, not only because it has a lot of comedic talent, I mean, all these people have been funny before, but because out of all the types of movies like this that have existed in the past, this production feels the most rushed, soulless, and even... Ugh, legit uncomfortable. The film is like accidentally pushing fast forward while watching the game plan, and an entire studio saying, no, no, it's supposed to be like that. I don't know if you've ever been so bored enough to watch a movie on Fast Forward, but it's usually odd, makes little sense, yet in some ways is awkwardly fascinating. And that's what we're in for, a movie so misguided the only thing it got right was the poster. Sometimes it takes a virus to predict a virus. So let's figure out why this run-of-the-mill movie is definitely that, but so much less. We are definitely playing with fire. Like a particularly mean pimp, at least they're acknowledging they're playing you. The credits roll and California starts off its day with a forest fire, which is like Spongebob starting off with who lives in a pineapple under the sea, perhaps explaining why the people trapped in Zed Fire are abnormally calm. We're trapped. We can't get out. What do we do now? We need a miracle. Jesus, I know you're Californians, but maybe an ah, or let's get out of here, or paper straws did nothing. Did all of you get high before driving to work to death is a stupid question. You're not the Cheetos I door dashed. They're saved by a group of smoke jumpers led by Jake, played by I, I can't, I, I can't. Who we can tell takes his job too seriously because he never smiles. You know what fixes that? Kids. They're always good for smiling. Paint it pink. Did I look like Batman? I was trying to look like Batman. Thank you for saving me. Did I smell five edits in one second? Oh no, it was just shitty slapstick. It's another day at the office. My husband sells insurance! Take me with you! I work for Industrial Light and Magic! Maybe I can help you with your shitty effect! Oh, they're the ones who did it. What the fuck happened to you, man? Your ass used to be beautiful. You know how quickly things can go sideways? Heck, my dad was the greatest smoke jumper ever to hang boots in this depot. <laughs> There's a rumor you can tell how bad a kid's film is gonna be by the number of desperate dog reaction shots. Clearly the script's not gonna keep me engaged, so might as well start counting. <laughs> oh hey, we found that lady's husband who sells insurance. We're just men with a lot of training and first-class genetics. Now that I say it out loud, I guess we are superheroes. That's all, State Stan. That's the Santa Barbara fire. Yes, they did use a whoo on his appearance. In fact, you know those guys who make faces on the news because they're so hungry for attention? Imagine a whole performance of that. Oh, uh, no, she didn't. Hi! That is in there. Por qué? I am sorry. I won't go over here. Every time the camera even thinks of going to someone else, Keenan-Michael Key is there to rescue you from variety. That's the Santa Barbara fire. If you're worried about it, fire down on the lake. Lieutenant! He's not here. I guess it's a little better than John Leguizamo, whose every line sounds like the lead-in to a Smash Mouth song. Hey, 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 guys! My dogs, come on, come on! You crushed it out there, man! Somebody once told me! It looks like the majority of the crew are leaving, though, because there's just not enough firefighting for them to do in the forest. In California! I just singed my eyebrows! Smell my beard! It smells like a luau! That was disturbing. I think that wide-angle close-up was awkward and unnecessary. So. We don't need you! We don't need you! Somebody once told me. <laughs> they see there's a fire at a cabin, so Lake Wazamo is upgraded to pilot. Drop in the water, now! Nice try. Okay, try being a little more supportive, I haven't flown in a while, okay? Oh, I imagine everybody was flying when they made this movie. Cena breaks into the cabin and discovers three kids trapped inside. Are you a real life fireman? I'm a smoke jumper, which is like a firefighter, but way cooler. What does a smoke jumper do? Oh, we jump into fires to fight them. Firemen fight fires. We'll put on the kettle, we can discuss it further. Does nobody know what fire does? It's not violin music at a fancy restaurant, it's goddamn fire! What happens if it actually catches on someone? Well, that is rather warm, but it shouldn't interrupt our conversation. See, I think Socrates is better than Plato because... Fire is rude. 
They get them out, but a big storm hits, meaning the kids have to stay with them until they can reach their parents. Oh shit, do we not have the camera on Keenan Michael Key for a minute? I'm not eight. Hey, if he says you're eight, you're eight. Thanks, that added a lot. So they reveal that- oh. Now if I didn't know any better, I would say that that was sarcasm. You know, I'm starting to see why his name was first on Key and Peele. So they reveal oh that my Jesus! I, I, oh my god, but she's not stopping. It's just, that's just sarcasm. That actor with the axe is showing great restraint. I will've chopped up everybody at this point! So they reveal that their parents are out of town. The oldest leaves a voicemail to let them know they're safe. We were rescued by these smoke jumpers. And apparently there's only 339 of them in the entire country. 336. And, and this, when you do that, that's not helpful. Stop making me forget you're funny! Lieutenant, how bad's the storm? On well, the words of Mahatma Gandhi. I'm so hungry I could eat my words. It's bad. Mine was funnier. So they decide to look after them using something called the Safe Haven Law, which isn't even given a full minute of explanation before jumping to more slapstick. Tripping <laughs> over a hose. Really thinking outside the box there, guys. Why does it have to be fighting the fires? Oh my gosh, for crying out loud. You know, let me check something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, just what I thought. We got enough mugs! Uh oh, master! Oh, so they're sticking dogs on them now? Not that I'm complaining, I just didn't know this was a Cujo sequel. No. Look at that, he's like disappointed the dog didn't rip him to shreds. Is this like the fifth collection of children they've gone through? Taco Pony. Her name's Masher. Taco Pony! All right, we'll pretend those are words. That's not for children. Chair isn't for children. Nothing here is for children. The DVD warning this movie came with. Don't you touch that button. Don't you touch the, don't you do it. Don't press it. What? Is he trying to be Superman 3, Richard Pryor? Yeah, Christ, I would need a break from him too. Always tap your fingers like that when you're upset. Oh my God. Hi. Yeah, we'll put you on the poster. Just please get a better agent. Superintendent Jake Carson speaking. The division commander calls Cena up though and talks about the possibility of him taking over his position after he retires. I understand you're Dan Carson's boy. Just try my latest exercise. It's a variation of pull-ups called blow-ups. Your first assumption is correct. You've made my short list for division commander. It'd be my honor, sir. Let the good hands reward your safe driving. Allstate gives you $100 off your deductible. Where did you come from? The script specifically said no Keenan Michael Key in this scene. I requested it! Big Dan would be so proud. <laughs> oh. Well, at least we can say we pinpointed the most annoying character in the movie. A new opponent is ready to face you. This kid is so obnoxious. She has three modes in this movie. Gibberish, drunken gibberish, and crying. She has not one, not two, but three scenes of her screaming at the top of her lungs. Please stop crying. Shoot her! Shoot her! Why are you just standing there? I've seen you wrestle the Wolverine. Okay, you get a point for that. Me, fireman, can't turn my neck. No. <laughs> that, that was a good impression. <laughs> oh, thank God I can take that point away. It felt so dirty, you having that. <laughs> but the oldest comes in, and like that, the scene is over. However, the boy fires flare guns, and like that, the scene is over. Literally, these two scenes back to back are under a minute. I don't even think they remember to put in punchlines. It's just something happens, and then it's not happening. The neuralizer would leave a longer lasting effect. Hello, I'm taking time away from being funny to be in this crap. You dive-bombed my lab and scooped up water from Fisher Lake. Judy Greer plays Dr. Amy Hicks, who's upset that they use water from her toad research to put out fires. But, more importantly, she used to date Cena. Ooh. Just saying that caring for living creatures is no small task. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't go too far with this. She doesn't exactly have the healthiest relationship with firefighters. A big sweaty fireman carries you out of a burning building. Can you think, yeah, okay, he's gonna give me mouth to mouth, but instead- Definitely gonna get demonetized if I play all that, so research it yourself. Don't you love that YouTube can give you homework?
He explains his predicament as the kids calm down by watching My Little Pony. That popular Nickelodeon property. She found out that Rainbow Dash was secretly throwing away Pinky's pies. This once again makes me wonder if this was written years ago to reference the original My Little Pony cartoon as opposed to this one. As it was a popular thing in the late 80s and early 90s, and again, this isn't a Nickelodeon property despite it being a Nickelodeon movie, so it's very bizarre. But what does it matter? We have our modern rom-com couple hate each other throughout the majority of the film and then spontaneously end up together. That's recent. Yeah, maybe you would know how to take care of them. Cause I am a woman. No, you're a scientist. So it's my scientific opinion you're looking for. Yes, your scientific opinion as a woman, God damn it! You're a terrible liar. She takes off, leaving them alone to put the kids to bed and... <laughs> Don't you have a Deadpool signal you can use to call him out to kill her? Cena tells her a lullaby and, spoiler, he's bad at it. But once was a man from Nantucket. Could finish shooting this film, but fuck it. That is literally the face he made before they called action on every shot. I got nothing. Huh, they forgot to write a bonding moment. Well, get used to that. Next scene. The next day, the boy gets peanut butter on Cena's car, and hey, let's see if we can get three dog reactions in a row. <laughs> they should have just retitled this movie. NHT. <laughs> T. How did you make? Spider fluid. <laughs> Who the hell made these beds? We get the traditional room full of bubble scene, which was so funny they showed it twice on the back of the box, as it looks like the smallest gremlin needs a diaper change. I do hope Key has a reaction to this. Oh, oh that's a spicy meatball! Remember Max Shrek's power plan from Batman Returns that wasn't producing energy, but rather draining energy? This was the batteries it ran on. Yeah, place that brat near the saw and nail gun. I'm not making a joke, please do that, it'll make her roll shorter. Oh! 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 Haven't seen that reaction in a movie yet. <laughs> because why not experiment with horror at this point? She has a Chucky doll look that's rather terrifying. <laughs> Y'all knew this was coming. I'm going in. But tell me if you could predict this, because honestly, I'm still not sure how it works. <laughs> oh! Right up the armhole! First of all, Christ! Second of all, how did that go up his sleeve into his mask? You would need an extinguisher filled with ass juice to make that happen. I never thought I'd say this, but give Arnold some credit. He would never stoop this low. <laughs> My eyes, the goggles do nothing. It's better be important. It's not. Then why'd you call? Kind of figured you needed a break. Thank you. Hang in though, camper. Hello, Internet. It's me, Captain America. I'm here to tell you about Marvel's Avengers. This is an action-adventure game where a young Kamala Khan must reassemble the Avengers to stop AIM in a future where superheroes are outlawed. Even me, the Hulk. Combining an original cinematic story with single-player and cooperative gameplay, Marvel's Avengers delivers new heroes and a new narrative on an ongoing basis for the definitive Avengers gaming experience. You can even play as me, Black Widow. Assemble up to four players online, master abilities, customize a growing roster of heroes, and defend the Earth from escalating threats. This is Charlie Chaplin saying, it's available now. Embrace your powers. Visit PlayAvengers.com for more info. Listen to Marilyn Monroe. I know what I'm talking about. Like our videos? Subscribe to be notified about them. Want to actually be notified about them? Click on that bell as well. Also, don't forget to check us out on Twitch.
playing some games, telling some jokes, and overall having a good time. Hope to see you there. They try to have an emotional moment between Key and the oldest sibling. See if you can listen without thinking of that literal shit-eating scene seconds earlier. And they're all heroes. To me. In, in their own way. But that day I realized that my calling was not with the family business. <laughs> do you have anything that you love that you, that you do just for yourself? Art. I used to paint. You definitely should get back into that. Can't do it, can you? Wanna know how I know? I didn't edit any footage over that scene. Whoa. That's awesome. Whoa, you're easily impressed. It's a box. He's told it's a fire training simulator and seeing how fire means nothing in this world, he of course lets the child play in it. All right, let's get to work. <laughs> Smoke? My dad and I used to watch fire shows together. Oh, yeah? Okay, we've got two victims just half a click away. It's fire. What, does somebody have to shout cat like in Pleasantville before anybody takes this seriously? Awesome. The oldest sibling helps them escape, which I think is for their own well-being at this point, and they steal the ATV. <laughs> now name another comedy that straps a camera to an actor as they fly around. Aside from all of them. It's too slippery! You go, I go! <laughs> Well, at least the backdraft reference was quick. I almost remember it less than, well, backdraft. <laughs> Cena catches up with them, of course being knocked over. <laughs> Is it all the slapstick that's making me think he looks like Ernest P. Whirl melting into the Sandman? When they reveal that their actual parents are dead. They died. Why didn't you tell me? I knew you'd call Child Protective Services, and a month ago we found out they're gonna separate us. Uh, have you seen you little demons in action? That's probably a good idea. And trust me, you guys are in good hands. Hey, you don't have your boss's job yet. Literally 10 seconds after finding out their folks are dead, let's do some hilarious skinning chipmunk jokes. Who wants chipmunk? <laughs> oh, I do hope that was Theodore. Sleep well tonight, kids. Nickelodeon! Enter calls. She's scared out here. She doesn't want you to leave. There's no reason to be scared. Bear sightings are pretty rare. And they skin her instead. Cena decides to calm her down by holding her while going to the bathroom. How many arrests are there gonna be at the end of this movie? It's Zoe's birthday in two days. I'd hate for that to be the day she remembers him splitting us up. Seeing how we almost killed you on several occasions, I think you owe us. <laughs> they make it back to the base. Thank God we get to see the dogs take on all this. And Amy flirts a bit with our beefcake, so the others try to help him out. You need to practice letting your guard down. Mm. That was quick. Okay, now we're gonna reply with something clever. Unzip your pants. You know what we're taking a picture of. Smiley face icon? <laughs> what does that mean? It means you got yourself a date, stud. Yeah, Jake, you got a date. <laughs> Anyone else think she sounds like John Hurd's impression of Tom Hanks from Big? Yeah, Jake, you got a date. I got I got of course, day translates to hanging with seven people. Eight if you count the dog reactions. <laughs> hey, that was plural. <laughs> and it looks like the kids cleaned up the piano for Cena to play. Without playing. The heat is on. <laughs> on the street. Don't tell me you only know how to play songs that are fire related. Why? This film seems to only know flicks that just make enough to be profitable. <laughs> Afterwards, they decide to go shopping to give the youngest stooge the greatest product placement birthday they could muster. She has virtually no reaction. Try it. Try acting. Just this once. Just this once. Oh, not today. I didn't want you to feel left out. Ta-da. Ah, that pretty woman craze. Still strong and relevant 29 years later. The kids are still quoting it. It's... <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. I know what you're thinking, though. Critic, I really don't want to sleep tonight. Please help me. Well, it looks like the smoke jumper named Axe, who hasn't said a word the entire film, got a Pinkie Pie sticker on his helmet. Ha 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 
Little pony, what is friendship all about? My little pony, my little pony, friendship is much. Oh, of course, every copy comes complete with a sheet of acid. What the hell am I watching right now? This movie was dumb, but it never had the taste of bitter night terrors. The film suddenly looks like it's gonna bite my nose off while singing a song gargling my blood. No kid, no matter how cute, should be shot this close as they start to look like the Happy Death Day killer. And this guy, why'd you try to make it look like he was scary with the axe? This was his most terrifying form! It's one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever seen a movie like this do. You can make sound. <laughs> he can sing. He can make your eyes bleed by piercing his into your brain. The title shouldn't be My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. It should be My Little Pony. Your soul is mine. But when you know it, the commander shows up early and can't believe what he sees. You said you weren't going to show up until tomorrow. Kind of takes the surprise out of surprise inspection. Are you in good hands? On top of that, Child Protection Services shows up the exact same time to take the kids away. Jesus, is the pound gonna come to take the dog away next? This is what happens when you let your guard down. So you know the drill, Cena turns back into an asshole. The kids are taken away, we get our third act breakup, and everyone mopes for a good 10 to 20 minutes before we get the climax where everyone realizes their faults. There's just one thing. There's only 10 minutes of the movie left. While I'm thankful God is putting out this dumpster fire with his urine, it does make you realize that's not enough time to let any of the choices these characters make sink in. Amy is pissed to see Cena's true colors. He tries hard to suck up to the commander. The kids run away, he quickly saves them, and suddenly these major character flaws are completely forgotten. Yeah, he gets the kids, marries the doctor, keeps the job. Nobody questions these incredibly questionable choices he made just moments ago. It's like they want to end this shit breakfast faster than we do, and they're the ones making it. But it's okay. The dog gets one more reaction. Barker pony. Barker pony, hooray! You better be the next Julianne Moore, you little shit. And that was playing with fire. Wow. Just friggin' wow. I guess on the surface it seems like an average muscle-bound tough guy raising kids flick, but on a deeper dive? And by deeper dive I mean watching it? It truly is something that's fascinatingly soulless. All these actors have been funny in other projects, hell, they've been very funny. But it has you asking in every single moment, why? Just, just why? You know those dramas that are so bad you have to laugh? Or those comedies that are so bad you can't laugh? This is one of those comedies that's so bad you don't laugh, but then becomes so empty and uncomfortable you have to laugh at how disturbed you are. I'll give it credit! I've never had such a bizarre reaction like that. I can't say it was enjoyable, but I did laugh! For the pity of humanity, I did laugh! I guess it only figures that nothing about this movie would be ordinary. It'd be annoying, cringy, even terrifying, but definitely not ordinary. Hello? All right, Critic, I wrote you a script with everything you wanted. Perfect, so who's playing the kids? Well, I couldn't exactly find any kids, but I think I found the next best thing. Nostalgia Critic was a serious, muscle-bound, manly man with a big penis. But them adorable rapscallions warmed his heart. That's right, he's a tough guy racing, tough guy racing, cute kids movies. We know you've seen this formula done to death and your kids are little idiots who just want to see adults do silly things. So we've decided to cut the crap and just give you one of those movies about raising one of those movies. Coming soon, it's Cutesy Pun. <sighs> well, it worked. My little pony, my little pony. Hey, Doug Walker here, doing the charity shout-out. Uh, we filmed these a week early, so uh, the, oh, 
this is probably gonna be a little late, but uh, at the time I'm recording this, uh, Hurricane Laura is uh, going on and just uh, leaving all sorts of uh, destruction in its wake. So um, even even by the time this gets out, you know, it, it might be old news. I mean, hopefully it'll be old news and things will be better. But uh, you know, e even if so, if not, uh, there's always. Um, people that need help from these disasters. It's not something where uh, it's fixed up very quickly. I mean, a hurricane leaves such a long-lasting impact on so many lives. Uh, so what we are doing is uh, we're putting a link to uh, a collection of charities you can give to, uh, you know, that's just, it's very specific about, uh, you know, what each one does, what it focuses on, uh, what your money would be going to and so forth. So, uh, so go to the link and you'll see actually a list of a bunch of different charities that you can give to. Uh, you can look through, you can see which one uh, is one that you want to give to, or maybe you can give a little to each one, though there's a lot of them. I mean, thankfully there's a lot of them. Uh, so definitely take a look, see if there's anything you you can do again a lot of these are also uh, volunteer based so if you want to volunteer you can do that or if you want to just spread the word that's great too so hopefully by the time this video comes out I mean it'll be at least dying down <laughs> you know I mean it, it's but it, it's a hurricane and, and you know what they do and uh, they, they just uh, they, they just really really hurt so many lives so anything you can give any way you can help out any way you can share would be very appreciated so thank you so much